And now to a very different issue of timing. How long before a full recovery from disaster in Japan? There have been many comments in recent weeks of a V-shaped comeback for the tenacious nation, but how realistic is this? Well, one of Japan's leading economic experts spoke at the ANU in Canberra today, and he's less confident. Professor Tagatoshi Ito is based at the Graduate School of Economics at Tokyo University, and I spoke with him earlier. Professor Takatoshi Ito, welcome to the program. Thank you. Now, very soon after the Japanese disaster, people were talking about a, a rebound, a V-shaped dip. But this is an enormous hit to come back from, isn't it? Yes. Um, there are two uh, uh, different issues. One is uh, earthquake and tsunami. The other one is the nuclear power plant disaster and associated um, uh, power shortage uh, in the Tokyo area. So the, for the first one, the earthquake and tsunami, we have experienced a smaller one in uh, uh, Hanshin uh, earthquake in 1985. And uh, we, we have estimates of how the GDP stock is affected and how the rebound uh, will take place. Yes, uh, investment, um, uh, investment uh, uh, boom uh, will happen uh, in the next uh, two to three years to try to recover, reconstruct what uh, the infrastructure was. So, however, the second part, the um, uh, nuclear power plant uh, uh, disaster and um, associated uh, power shortage, we have no idea how damaging uh, it will be and um, uh, how long uh, it will take to uh, contain it and, and um, remove um, radiation uh, scare. So I, I, I'll be very uh, cautious about um, uh, any, any forecasts on how the GDP uh, will, uh, uh, will play out in the next um, uh, year or two. We've heard about the woes of the Japanese car industry, but more broadly, you contract out a lot of manufacturing now to Japan and Korea, but presumably you keep quite a lot of the high IP stuff back in Japan. What sort of impact has this had on manufacturing? I think right now we are hearing the broken supply chain from the key components, uh, parts, uh, uh, in, 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 which is produced in the affected area, uh, but I think uh, those uh, broken supply chain problem will be corrected one way or the other uh, in next um, uh, several months. So in the next quarter, there will be a chaos and loss, but um, uh, in six months, I think the, those uh, manufacturing sectors will find ways to get those components and, and, and ship out uh, those uh, cars and, and, and um, the um, uh, electronic products um, uh, as normal. There are also now worries about water and crops. How serious is this when the U.S. starts being nervous about Japanese imports? If the situation in the power plant is uh, stabilized, hopefully stabilized, then uh, uh, we, 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 can, we, can, uh, uh, we can talk about which area is an um, is, uh, 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 area that we have to, we have to uh, ban the movement and which area uh, is safe. And we can, um, we can, um, uh, we can ring fence uh, those uh, uh, problems. The, um, right now, we, we cannot say uh, how much radioactive materials are uh, leaked out uh, to the air and, and sea ocean and how the, uh, the power company uh, uh, can or will uh, uh, shield those um, uh, problems. Uh, so right now, we, we have lots of uncertainties and we are very nervous about it. How much more can the government do? Will we see more of a fiscal stimulus? Um, unfortunately, the debt-to-GDP ratio has uh, become very large, uh, close to 200% of GDP, unprecedented in any peacetime uh, 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 history. Uh, and um, I would be very nervous uh, uh, about... Um, uh, Issuing more debts uh, because of the uh, uh, because of the losses and, and damages uh, uh, from from earthquake. But where will the extra funding come from? Because your corporate tax rate is already extremely high. 
I think the uh, uh, consumption tax, VAT, has to, uh, has to increase. We have to uh, spread the burden by uh, uh, lowering the income, personal income tax uh, uh, taxable points. Uh, we may find ways to uh, uh, introduce some other taxes on uh, non-taxable uh, uh, businesses uh, uh, right now. Um, and, um, and, and on the other hand, uh, we have to find ways to, uh, 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 ways to stimulate uh, growth, uh, which, which will bring in uh, 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 tax revenues. Japan is also the second largest owner of U.S. bonds. Is there a likelihood, you think, that Japan would need to sell some of its U.S. bonds? There is no chance, no chance that Japan will sell uh, U.S. government bonds. Uh, first of all, foreign reserves have, on the other side of the uh, balance sheet, the Japanese uh, uh, short-term debts. So selling U.S. government bonds means the, uh, uh, they have to uh, convert into the yen, which makes a yen appreciation, which is bad, and also pay for those uh, uh, debts. So there is no um, pure assets. It, it, it is not pure um, assets, and uh, government does not gain anything from uh, uh, liquidating those uh, uh, U.S. government bonds. The, there are some rumors in the market that uh, Japanese life insurance companies and, and uh, uh, non-life uh, insurance companies need to liquidate their uh, foreign assets and convert them back into the yen to pay for those uh, insurance uh, uh, benefits. But um, I, I, I think that they have enough uh, cash reserves in Japan, in the yen, so that uh, they don't need actually liquidate those foreign assets. Professor Takatoshi Ito, I thank you very much for joining the program. Thank you very much.